What is up, YouTube? It is Trilla Manila. It is day 21, 26 on 100 Days of Code Challenge and the Road to Code. Getting mixed up with 21 because of what I've learned today about JavaScript. So, it was, again, it's just more heads down uh, learning by code and JavaScript. I uh, was 50% done yesterday. Today, accomplished, well, like another 25% more. So we're 75% done of of the whole uh, JavaScript basics part. And today, what stuck out to me was an example that they used about counting cards. And it was a cool movie reference to 21 that I seen back in high school in my math class, which I assume was because my math teacher wanted us to think that it was like math was cool. Which which is fine by me. I mean, I'm not against it. I definitely um, I think it's a good thing to influence our youth to think like technology and stuff is cool. It's definitely good for the advancement of, of any country um, in general, like the Korean people, people. But but also the uh, like Russia though, because Russia women women and technology in Russia is like a lot. It's a hot a lot higher. Like there's a lot more women in uh, Russia that are in tech and it's just more of a normal thing over there for for um, for little girls to see women in tech so they just think it's a normal thing um, I mean I don't really care about the diversity of of different jobs etc by sex and race or things like that I think people just have different interests but you can get them interested in different things if they get influenced at a younger age. So, yeah. But anyways, what I was going with that was, in the code, you see the problem was um, basically you're given data of which cards. There's a count change value of plus one, and the cards that have that value are two, three, four, five, and six, and the count changes zero if it's seven, eight, or nine. So the function should just ignore that. And then negative one if it's a 10 or a face card. And basically with this information, um, you're basically, the function is either gonna bet or hold. And if it's negative one, zero or negative one, it's gonna bet and if it's a plus one, it's going to hold. And, I mean, you're just given this data set, and then you just got to write in JavaScript language, which is switch, parentheses, card, and then just case, two to six, count, plus, plus, break, case, ten, and then all the face cards, count, minus, minus, then break, and then if count is greater than zero, recount, return count, plus bet, else return count, plus hold. That was the solution. Um, but beyond that, just seeing an example of it, which is really cool, and just seeing, because um, it was a good movie, cool movie reference, and just seeing an example of like, oh, okay, this is the way to use JavaScript. Um, I know there's like games and et cetera that you can make with it. So it's just cool to see some more examples of using JavaScript and just the fact that I have ideas of what I could do with this kind of data. Like, I don't know, it's just a lot of things that I'm learning about at the same time. It's just kind of integrated with this because I'm also reading a book um, about Agile and having flexible data structure is important which like the JSON and JavaScript is and this is kinda like flexible data um, sets it's a lot of things in my head going on with what I can like the potential of this um, so yeah it's definitely interesting to see and it's definitely been fun just learning more about JavaScript and definitely looking forward to it and the days coming up just learning about it. And that's pretty much the update for day 26 on the 100 Days of Code Challenge.
And as always, just like, comment, and subscribe. And follow my blog at trillamanilla.com. Twitter at trillamanilla as well. And I want to say that I haven't even really been on social media, but when I recently opened uh, Twitter, uh, I'm also on Yen. That's the only other social platform that I'm on. Um, so yeah, you can catch me hanging out on Yen. But also Twitter as well. And my Twitter has been really cool to look at because I'm only following like, crypto people and coding stuff, which is a lot better of using a uh, social platform. A little rant there. I mean, there's all the ways, always that Bitcoin maximalist argument going on with the altcoiners. So I <laughs> guess that's uh, not too good of content there, but that's, that's about it. But anyways, that, that's all I have to say. Peace out.